Also, the easiest things I can say to keep in mind, um, do you have a piece of paper? Hey, um, no thanks. Hey, what's up? I'm Katie Bing and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're not, thank you so much for being a part of my family. I truly love you all more than you know. So today I'm joined with Miss Indy and we are going to go over the top, hold on, I don't have enough hands, 10 things that puppy owners do wrong or owners do with a new puppy. So for those of you that are new here or might not know, I'm a dog trainer. All of my dog training is based around the fundamentals of dog psychology. So I do a lot of behavioral modification training and as well as starting off puppies right. That's a lot of what my in-home training sessions are full of. Girl, um, excuse you. Can you get your life together? <laughs> one thing that was just the biggest mistake that puppies owners make it would be influencing excitement and bad behavior so I'm going to just really quick give you a preface of why I think this is so when we think about dogs and their instinctual behavior dogs are pack animals so dogs are either in the leader position because they're the leader of the pack or the follower position which is following people or their pack. When we think of somebody that we'd like to follow, we want to follow somebody that's calm and collected and knows what they're doing. Dogs instinctually see excitement as just unstableness. They don't see it as good or bad, they just see it as overall not being stable. So, what this means is that when we are playing with our dog a lot or when we are being overexcited and amping them up, this actually causes them to have things like separation anxiety or to be really amped up when they see another dog on walks. So I think the biggest thing that you can do to help your puppy become a really good dog one day is encourage them to be calm and really reward their calm behavior because yes, it's super cute when a puppy is playing, but when the puppy's two years old and huge, if you do have a big dog, it's gonna not be as cute and you're going to have a way harder time getting a handle on it because once dogs create habits, that's what they run with. The second mistake puppy owners make is giving too much freedom too fast. So when you're working on potty training a dog or you're working on just getting rid of a behavior that is negative, a lot of times the answer is restricting freedom. So what I mean by this is when you are having a dog that goes potty inside the house, the easiest way to train them to not go potty inside the house is to be in control of when they're going potty and baby get off a small area. So you only have to watch them and monitor them for that small area versus letting them escape somewhere in the house or sneak away into a room and going potty and not catching them or being on top of it. So the easiest way to have a puppy be potty trained and listen really well is to start off with crate training just so that they're comfortable in their crate and you don't have to worry about them sneaking out and going potty when you aren't watching them. Number three is not socializing the puppy. So a lot of vets will say wait till the dogs get their shots and that's so true because you don't want your puppy to get sick. Obviously that would be the worst thing to happen. But unfortunately, we're waiting longer and longer, according to the vets, to socialize our puppy. And then by the time that we are socializing them, that you're, you have an insecure dog, you have a dog that is really under socialized and will take that out by like fighting or growling or becoming reactive. So yes, you wanna wait until your dog has their vaccines to start taking them out. But what I personally did is I had my dog or Miss Indy around all dogs that I know are vaccinated and places I know are controlled and don't have a high dog population so that she gets socialized, is used to going outside and is used to meeting all different types of dogs with all different types of demeanors right off the bat so we don't have to deal with any insecurity issues with her. especially being a dog trainer, is people want to wait till the puppy is mature to start training. And this is the absolute worst thing you can do for many reasons, but I would say the main reason is because puppies, when they're younger, don't have a lot of willpower. So a puppy that's six to 12 weeks old isn't going to be able to whine in their crate 
for a very long time because they don't have that much stamina. Whereas a puppy that's a year old can whine for a lot longer and will hold out a lot longer on you. As far as teaching them to lay down, puppies can get more stubborn when they're five months old compared to if you teach them from the day you get them. As far as teaching them to wait for their food, that's something that should start right away. You should put a leash on them the day that you get them, not forcing them to walk perfect because they are a puppy, but just getting them used to all the things you're going to expect your dog to do. which I think summarizes everything, is just not taking into account how big the dog is going to be and the types of behaviors they're not going to be okay with when the dog isn't a baby. So a lot of times talking back is really cute at first when you have an eight week old puppy, but when you have a year old dog that's barking back at you when you tell it to do something instead of doing what you're telling it, that can get really frustrating. So you always wanna follow through with your dogs and make sure that you're not encouraging bad behavior. One thing I really don't like to do with puppies is play tug of war with them because it teaches them to resist you. So I would always say just don't play tug of war with them unless it's in very controlled thing, environments. Also, another mistake is people don't stay on top of potty training and then it becomes a bigger issue. If you are on top of potty training, you are going to run with it and do very well. A young puppy has to go out every hour in the middle of the night and you can slowly start to add more of a duration of time that they're waiting, but you always have to expect to be very on top of potty training. When we first got Indy, I was taking her out every half hour and she's still going out every single hour on the hour to make sure that she isn't having accidents. As far as puppies go, there's a lot of information out there, but I think the biggest thing is just make sure you're influencing the type of dog that you want a year from now. And also make sure that you're loving them, but creating really strict, strong boundaries so that you don't have a dog on your hand a year from now that's disregarding what you say. The things that I think are the most important to keep in mind are that dogs are either in the leader or follower position. So no matter what you're doing, ask yourself, is your dog getting away with it or are you following through with what you wanted? The second thing is to start training right away with them. And it can be all positive reinforcement based. It should be with a puppy. You don't have to be a drill sergeant, but just start getting them listening and in that cooperative and calm mindset when you're working with them. Three is to leash break them right away. And four is to be overly structured with the crate so that you don't deal with separation anxiety or them hating their crate when they're older. Indy loves her crate because we have put her in it since the day we got her and it's her favorite. Right, Missy? Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and join our family. I love you guys so much. Also, I've been playing around with the types of videos I'm filming. Comment down below what types of videos are your favorite. Also, what I would like to know is what puppy tip you think I left out or a puppy tip that you think was super helpful that you didn't know. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you next video. Bye!